Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. So today I'm going to do another four and the same color palette that I'm working on so far. I will put the colors or put the clipping of the colors from my previous videos because they are exactly the same colors. And this is a 10 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. The project I was working on this one, uh, I was not very fond of it. So I abandoned it. So I'm going to put on this one. So let's start with white. First of all, before I do that, I'm going to use my brush. To cover my sides the reason is it's black so I must make sure that I cover all the sides and I'm going to just scoop from the bottom I don't need to have fresh paint or untouched paint I just am going to wait it because it's going to get covered by uh, the white anyway. I'm just going to make it help to glide the paint a little faster on the sides. Maybe a little bit more paint. So, like last time, Let's start with three puddles. So I enjoyed starting with the green on last one. This one is Taylor Green from Artist Love. Second color that I'm using is deep turquoise. Pretty, pretty color. Next, I'm going to add is purple which one is basically dioxys in purple from liquitex basics and you can see i'm kind of drizzling them because i love to see the true colors without blending in some places so some places i want them to blend some places i want them to retain their true color it looks pretty that way and you get more depth in your painting. 
that way at least that's what i feel like there's no set rule for it it's just with experience you gather these knowledges or knowledge i don't know by the way the color that i'm using is candy apple from arts mind This is from Golden. It's Quintagron Aho Gold. Beautiful color. Next one is gold. This gold is from Art Mines, not 24K gold. Because this gold doesn't spread, it retains its shape. I feel like that's more important for the center. And I'm going to sprinkle here and there some. I'm just trying to finish up all the paintings that are paints, paint mixes that I have. Let's put some white cell activator. So I'm adding two cell activators. One is white. The white one has Australian cell activator recipe, uh, Floetrol cell activator recipe. Then I put the black one, which one is US Floetrol cell activator recipe. The idea behind blowing is you just want to spread your uh, cell activator which is on the top to on top of the other colors so it will create a thin film on the top of the other colors and that will create these beautiful cells. And that's why it's really important that when you blow make sure you're blowing uh, kind of uh, diagonally are sideways not directly vertically because if you do it vertically your bottom white color or base coat will show up so you would start uh, mild and then you will blow diagonally to the sides so your cell activator can spread everywhere So this is what I have now. Let's do some modification before we spin. I'm just adding some 24K gold uh, Deco Art Americana brand just to add some bling because you know me that i cannot live without blings and also i am trying to create um, a cohesiveness 
in the composition with the three blooms okay so where these two blooms touch each other i'm going to swirl to make some kind of So they don't look like a three like three different blooms looks like a single okay I'm ready to spin let me recenter again Oops, it's flying that direction faster than I anticipated. So what I did was I moved my center a little bit this way. So things will move to this direction. So now you can see that it's spreading on the sides. I am going to now stretch it to the opposite direction, which is horizontally. We need to cover the last corner.
So you can see that this side is covered. I just have to recenter my design to the opposite direction and I think if I can do that properly I would be done and also as you can see this corner is kind of like empty I need to cover that one up Now that the corner is covered, let me center it back. I want it to keep the bloom shape, but it got deconstructed, I think, more than I wanted it to. Kind of looks like Karen's deconstruction. Ah, no, because I have a bunch of swirls in between the blooms I think it looks better now. Let me check all the sides. Yeah, they all look proper. Which we want. And I think I'm going to leave it at this. Let me bring you closer. Before that, I'm going to torch a little. Actually, really pretty. Oops, I did not realize that I am off centered. Sorry, guys. Once it dries, I will show you how pretty it is. So, there's the corner bloom, which has tons and tons of cells. And bunch of lacing here then the second one is here and the third one is here so this is my finished product I hope you liked it let me know what you think
look at this part this is completely gold and black and white lacing it's so pretty and right next to the gold are those uh, blue cells and it's so pretty on this side you can see that I have a bunch of cells and I have multiple colors picking through those cells there's another bunch and here's the third bloom and also again you can see a bunch of gold and black cells and lacing which is really pretty so once it dries i'll show you the dry product